Greetings and uh, welcome to my hardcore RTG Road to Glory. Now, if you've been keeping up with the posts that I make in the YouTube community tab or you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that for FIFA 20, uh, my plan was to sort of differentiate in my content. Obviously, things that I've done last year that could include, uh, as you see right now, we're opening our loan uh, icon pack right as we opened up our ultimate team account. We get the main man in Zag, you know, fellow countryman of mine, but, uh, you know, I was hoping for a better loan. It's okay. We proceed. But like I was saying, you know, I'll keep doing the same content as I did last year, which uh, so many of you enjoyed so much. Uh, but th that type of content isn't really sustainable and it does take some time. Like I can't, uh, you know, I made those types of videos around March, April of uh, and May and then onwards from there of FIFA 19. We're not that far into the game yet. So my knowledge of FIFA 20 isn't obviously as good as we go into a draft here. Uh, but nonetheless, I wanted to start this RTG, and I'm calling it a hardcore RTG for several reasons. Uh, but before that, uh, I guess you need to know my plans, my plans for the year. So obviously, you may have seen my announcement that I started working on the guide tutorial channel. And if you aren't subscribed to that already, uh, definitely do that. And thanks to them, I'm able to take FIFA more seriously this year, go into it full time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's where the idea of the road to glory came by. I felt like, you know, road to glories aren't anything new in the community, but I wanted to put my spin on it. Hence the hardcore RTG name, because I want to follow my journey uh, and share it with you guys uh, as a player who isn't really a casual, but isn't really just a hardcore in the sense that I just play enough. I, I mean, I just don't play a lot. And also in the sense that, I'm not a pro either, right? I'm in this limbo spot where I'm not a professional player, but I'm also more than just like a hardcore player. You know what I mean? Because the same way, you know, if you watch the Euro Cup, the World Cup, you'll have qualifiers, right? And you'll have many nations who participate in official qualifiers, but never get to the main stage. I guess you could say I'm the FIFA equivalent of that as of now, because, you know, while I do get top 100 and I do get high in Division 1 in ELO skill rating in Rivals, and while I do, uh, you know, get myself foot champions verified, I did last year and I participate in official uh, qualifiers, I never have gotten to the stage of qualifying to anything so why not do a hardcore rtg as in you know document the journey of a player like myself who maybe you know never makes it to an event hopefully this year you know maybe we get a pleasant surprise we qualify for something depends how seriously we take it if we like the game or not but yeah i wanted to document that side of the of the of of the story of a fifa ultimate team player and I'm calling it a hardcore RTG, not because we're going full poor man's road to glory. As you saw earlier, we did put on 12k FIFA points, which, uh, you know, I'm not proud of. But uh, you kind of have to do. And to be quite honest with you, compared to everyone else who is planning on playing competitively, that's literally peanuts. It is, it is peanuts. And the plan... For me, as a player, is to do the best that I can, whether that's uh, just getting Division 1 or Elite 1, or that's actually getting Top 100, or that's getting Foot Champions verified and qualifying and participating in events. I want to do the best that I can, and I want to share that uh, on this hardcore RTG. Obviously, today we're starting with the first draft I ever played, and round one was, uh, you know, pleasant surprise. A lot of goals. But that's that's also one thing I wanted to focus on in the hardcore RTG, the, the life of a sweaty uh, wannabe pro player like myself. So, you know, when and if I do get foot champions verified, obviously, you know, the foot, uh, our hardcore RTG will include episodes where you guys see, you know, my qualifiers. And obviously you can see all of this live on twitch.tv forward slash stallion sama where i'm pretty much going to be streaming every day so that's like the live version of our rtg our hardcore rtg but then i'm, I'm obviously going to be posting every day or not every day but a few times a week i'll be posting the um the youtube version to keep everyone up to date on my youtube channel i want to keep them not too long you know i don't want to make 20 minute videos but let's say 10 minute video 10 minute episodes ish 
depending on the week then obviously obviously we'll have foot champions and rivals rewards that'll be you know an episode of the rtg itself but because i'm putting only 12k points i'm gonna need help from you guys right gameplay wise it's gonna be up to me to be critical to be objective and look at my own gameplay and decide okay i need to improve in here if i want to get top 100 i need to do this if i want to get foot champions verified and play in events and do good in qualifiers i need to do that it's going to be up to me but uh, since i'm not putting a lot of money into the game especially with how bad fifa 19 was i'm going to need a lot of help from the chat whether it be on twitch the comments on youtube for you guys to help me in the glory road to glory aspect of it in the building the squad right because the hardcore part of this glory for me is uh, what it's always been getting the best results possible but the squad building aspect i haven't really always done properly because i used to invest more money into the game that to help me play drafts and all that sort but this year obviously we're going to try and incorporate more trading make a series out of it show the life again like i said of a sweaty player like myself and i'm sure there's many other sweaty players watching who can relate uh to this to this video and so that's that's going to be the plan this year do the best we can document the journey and see and see where it takes us right now the plan was obviously going to be 12k points all of it into draft right as we show you guys uh, this initial draft but because and like mi minor spoiler alert of the packs that we've gotten so far and because uh it's kind of i feel like draft is not for me i've got a certain play style that i kind of need my own team my own formation and rinse and repeat with that and get this as good as, as i possibly can with that formation as opposed to trying different players all the time different formations i feel like that kind of you know might give me better value or definitely gives me better value but i don't know if i can do this whole 12k so between this episode and the next episode the question mark will be am i going to use all my 12k pifa points on draft or am i just going to do you know a couple thousand points on draft uh, which you know i already have on stream but i have to make the decision for the last 10k ish points am i just going to do a pack opening post that as our second episode of the hardcore rtg and then start our journey from there in rivals i don't know i don't know yet so definitely let me know in the comments uh what you guys think what you guys would suggest for me to do uh because right now i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm leaning towards doing uh a pack opening and forgetting draft even though that's bad value i know it's bad value especially for someone who will most likely get at least to the second round every every draft you know word on the street is that if you can get two wins in a draft every single time it makes it more worth bang you know bang for your buck in terms of you know you spend 300 points for a draft you get into round two at least every draft you get more or more you're more likely to get more value out of those packs as opposed to spending 300 points on normal packs in the store but even then i think for my own sanity and even if it makes it my own life harder I think I'm going to be doing a pack opening, but again, I'm going to wait to see the comments in this video. As you can see, the first pack wasn't great, but this wasn't uh, the main pack that we were supposed to open. Anyways, we got a rare players pack coming up next, and that's my only sort of conundrum as of now. After that, uh, you know, the main issues are going to be getting good at this game because I'm okay. I'm nothing special right now. Nowhere near my best that I can be, which is kind of, uh, you know, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. I still have to learn a lot about this game. There's, I, you know, I could give you guys my initial thoughts on the game, but uh, I'm going to save that for maybe a podcast of the scale gap. As you see, a 50K pack results in an 82 coat is really not what you want to see. But again, it was only the first draft. And, you know, to be fair, we did win the draft. So you think you get a little bit more out of it. But, uh, you know, our best pull, 82 Coates, and I think that was, like, the first moment that planted the seed in my head where I was like, is this really worth it? Because, honestly, I'm losing my mind playing draft, so the only thing that would have kept me afloat playing it is good packs. Obviously, I'm probably going to get worse packs by doing a pack opening, but at least get it over with, get my resources, and then start trading based on, you know, you guys' uh, suggestions in the comments. But I think that's really all I wanted to do for today, guys. I wanted to introduce the Hardcore RTG. As I said, it's a way for me to sort of show my journey through foot. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can we can achieve great things. And by we, I mean me. But, you know, obviously, you guys as the viewers are hopefully as involved as I am. And um, let me know your thoughts. Does this intrigue you? Does it not? 
But yeah, I'll be reading the comments. And until next time, peace out.